Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Joe from Family Guy. A couple of notes here. This is an advanced level project. We are going to be doing a lot with our hooks in terms of attachments and add-ons add and adjustments. We will have a tight section around the neck and we're going to be doubling over some bands as we go. I'm going to try it this time without this piece here. I wanted a little bit extra on the side, but I feel like it's too much, so we're going to take that out, but I will show you how to do that if you'd like to keep it. And for this pattern, I'm using a sort of turquoise blue, which is the closest I have to a shark color, a darker blue, black, a little bit of gray. You don't have to have gray. You can use clear or leave that part out, but gray if you're doing that skin tone. I'm going to try this with a tan. This time I used a paler shade on my prototype. A caramel brown or dark brown for the hair. And for the eyes I'm using a couple of very small, so small I think I've lost them already, um, little pearl beads. So I guess I'll track down later. Anyways, let's get started. We're going to do our arms first. I'll make both with you. We begin with some skin tone and we're taking three skin tone, wrapping them on the hook one, two, three times. We're going to pull this onto three sets of three skin tone. So three bands, pull it on. My last one there. Let's go back and get it. Okay. So onto the first set of three. Make sure you get all of your bands over all three of the bands that you're pulling it onto. So it slides nicely and replace the other end. We're gonna do another three. And then three more. Now we want it to have a really thick arm. If you find this difficult, you can stick with three. I'm gonna use five full bands here to give him a thicker upper arm. He's got the muscles there and we wanna emphasize that. So five bands, slide. And now we're gonna switch to your shirt color and we're gonna do two sets of five in that color. One more. So on to five, and again on to another five. And we pull this on to two singles, like to two bands together, I should say. There is one arm. You can put it on the side or keep it on your hook. We'll do the other arm together. bands. Wrap them nice and tight. Pull it on to three bands. And on to another three. So that we get a total of three sets again. And then a set of five. I'm just gonna make sure these all went through properly. There. And now five we said. And five blue. And five blue. and two blue. And the reason we go back to two at the top is so that we don't have this many, we, we aren't putting these many bands onto our loom. It's a lot easier to attach it with two and it's gonna fit better. 
We're gonna do our legs next because we'll be adding those on when all else is done. And I'm doing a really simple boot here. I'm taking two blocks, wrapping them three times, pulling it onto two blocks, I haven't been doing this in a while. My hands are getting slippery with the with the bands. I have to get used to this. Get back in the rhythm. I always find that if I'm away from a, a certain craft for a while, it gets a little takes a little time to readjust. Okay, pull it onto a second set of double black bands. And now we're gonna take a single black, double it over, and pull these on top. and we find our pants color. I'm using the darker blue. We're gonna take two of those, slide it on, and put this to the side. We're adding this on a little bit later. You can make it longer if you want, but this is all that we need right now. Let's do our other foot, our other shoe. Two wrapped three times, pull it onto two, onto two again. onto a doubled over single and onto two blue bands for the pants. And now we're going to turn to the loom and we're going to start with the head and work our way to the body. We have this offset middle rows just above the other two. You're going to take two of your hair color and bring it from the top center to the top right two of your hair color from the top center to the top left. And here you can decide um, if you want your profile to be more on one side than on the other, then you'll put your chin on that side and you'll put your hair on that side. So I'm gonna stay with the left, the profile as it is. I'm gonna put two brown bands on the left side coming down and two in the middle. And again, at this point, if you want there to be more brown here, you can add two. You can add an extra set on the side if you want it to be longer. And we'll get back to this in one second. Let's put our skin tone bands on the right side, two bands coming down once. Now, if you want this added little puff, what you do is you take a single of your hair color, wrap it nice and tight, one, two, three, four. Take a single, double it over, slide your wrapped band on top, replace, and put this on top of your skin tone so it would go right onto the peg. And this will give you that extra little lump on the side. But as I said, I kind of I'm kind of feeling like it's a little too much right now, so I'm gonna leave that out. And we're gonna proceed with the rest of the face. And that's all done in skin tone. We're gonna come down four times with double bands in the center, starting at the second peg down. And on the left, we come down three times. Double skin tone again. On the right, we come down three times with double skin tone. And then we'll go from our fifth side pegs to our sixth center peg with double skin tone and press it down really well, but try not to overlap if you can keep those separate. The opposite side. We're gonna put a single triangle holding band across your fifth pegs and you'll repeat that just above it over your fourth pegs and the two holding bands above are going to be doubled over singles in skin tone. We want the upper face to be a little bit tighter than the lower face. That's our best way to um, to shape it. Trying to find one that's stretched a little bit. This will do. Double it over, bring it across. And we will come back and add our features in just a couple of minutes. 
let's put our body together now. This is going to be one of our hard parts, our trickier parts when we're looming, because we're going to start layering down from that sixth peg in the center to the six side pegs with double, double skin tone. And to the left and in the center. Get your shirt color, the color you'd like for your shirt. We're going to come down four times in the middle with double bands. And on either side we're going to use double bands and we're going to stop uh, just above that so we come down four times. Two, let's turn this so you can see it better in just a second here. and four. The same on the right side. We're going to place one set of double blue pant color, pant colored bands on the center row. This is from your third peg from the bottom to the second peg from the bottom. And we're going to come in, come down once on either side. You can use two bands here or three bands. It's up to you. You can, you'll have to decide how thick you want the upper leg to be. I used three on my original. I'm going to use just two this time. We'll come in from either side with double bands down diagonally. And we're going to cap that middle peg, second peg from the bottom. Take a single wrap it about three times. Some people find it's easier to do it on the hook. I like using my fingers, but whatever works for you is good. And we're going to come to the bottom of the loom. Again, you can use three, three bands at a time or two. I'm using two here. And we come down twice on either side. And at this point, you still have the option of making your legs longer, but you really don't have to. We'll take our little foot extensions and bring those onto the bottom most pegs on either side. And we'll do some holding bands. For our body, we are... I think we're going to use a lot of double or a couple of doubled over but just at the bottom so our bottom most triangle holding band will be a doubled over single if you count from the bottom of your loom that's the third peg from the bottom of your loom we'll go across and we're going to double over the band just above that and this will cinch it in at the waist a little bit and this one can be um, a pants blue or a shirts blue our last three going up are going to be singles. And the one other thing that we can do here, I made a, a little collar here. I'm going to use double bands this time, although I did use single the first time. And what that looks like if you want to place it on is two bands coming from the first center peg that has a shirt color and we'll come up to the other side as well and we don't have to cap it because when we're as we're looping up the center that will secure it in place we have a couple of quick extensions to make and we can put our arms on we'll do our arms now the arms are a little bit hard to angle you might want to take it off them off of the hook bring the hook through from the opposite side and place it on um, or you might like the way that it's facing now this is one of the things where you're gonna have to do a little bit of fidgeting and playing around and we might want to um, cinch it on a little bit later these get a little bit springy Okay, 
try to get it so that it's somewhat facing the direction that you'd like. I'm going to try to twist a couple of my top bands here and see if that doesn't get this to be a little more even. So I took the top two off, flipped them over, twisted them, and put them back on. For our extensions, we're using our shirt color. We're taking a single, wrapping it twice, and pulling it onto two sets of double turquoise blue shirt color. This is going to go onto the peg that's holding the arms. So take it off your hook, put it on the arm or over the arm. If you want, you can take the arm off and stick it underneath. It's all good. And we skip a peg and take the cap band, the last one, put it on the bottom there. And pop one of the bands off of that chain to pull it onto the, the, inter, the intervening band. Um, I'm thinking, I think I want my arm to to go on top, we'll see if I can pop this through. Try and do this without stretching it too much. And without getting having it come off the loom. There, that might sit a little more nicely. I'm gonna take off the other arm as I do the other side. I just I like the way it looks underneath. Single wrapped twice, pulled onto two sets of double shirt color bands. And this goes across the armband, skips one, and we pull that cap band over that next piece. Make sure everything's on, and if you have taken the arm off as I did, you can put that back. So our body is all good to go, and our face needs a couple more little things. Oh, there are the eyes. You're going to thread your eyes onto a skin tone band. If you're using beads or band, if you're using beads with a larger hole, they can go right onto your hook. If you're using beads with a smaller hole, we put it onto a thin wire or piece of dental floss through a skin tone band. Back over and back through. And if you're using bands, you'll take each of your two eye bands and wrap them three times onto your hook for if you want it to be a little bit bigger, a little tighter and pull that from your hook onto a skin tone. These beads that I'm using are, mm, how big are they? About, about three millimeters across, two and a half, three. And they're pretty small. Which makes for a really, really little hole when I'm trying to get these on. Maybe we'll do one at a time. Sometimes this is the part that tries my patience the most. Really, really frustrating some days. Well, while I'm working on this, I'll tell you one of the projects I've been working on, and let me know if you want any of this in a video. I found some of my old Barbie doll clothes with, um, with rips, and I've been working on sewing some of them back together. Putting on new clasps and buttons, getting the hemlines redone. It's been using up a lot of my, my spare time. We're gonna try a different bead here. I think that's a problem. Need something with a bigger hole. Trying to get this on. Sorry about the weight, guys. There's one. Oh, much better. And two. Perfect. Slide them on. 
and this goes across your second pegs down. Take your hook, get in between if you possibly can, and we're going to separate these and bring that band under the next peg. For our nose, we're taking a single, wrapping it one, two, three, four times, and this goes on to a doubled over single. And we're going to pop this onto another single. So replace the end, put it on a single, and slide it across your third pegs. And it's going to sit right in, right in the middle here. For our extensions on the side, on the left we're going to take a single, wrap it twice, and pull it onto two sets of double bands, all skin tone. The ones that are on the hook go on to the third peg down where our nose sits. And you're going to find that little circle cap band and slide that to the fifth peg down. So skip one, go to the next, and pull a piece over from the middle chain. And I did a side chain, an identical side chain here on my first one, but you can see I had to pull in a lot of the bands because it was just a little too loose. So if you want a side chain, you can. If you want to use singles instead of doubles, you can. I think maybe I will. I'm going to take do the second chain after all. So same thing, a single wrap twice, pulled on to two sets of double bands. Or you could do a double and a single and have it tighten up a little bit above. Uh, our, our idea is to give a little bit of roundness to the bottom part of the face while keeping the top slender. But because we doubled over, sorry, because we doubled over our holding bands, we don't need as much on the bottom to add that puffiness. Wow, I've just lost my, I've lost my mojo here. Gotta get my looming magic back. Try that one more time. There. And we'll make our chin and then we can loop up and that's the bulk of our project. The remaining parts are the um, the wheel and the wheels and a little bit of adjustment. So here is our face and our body and we'll loop it up and go from there. Come to the center at the bottom, go under your cap band, find your top two bands which are coming from the right and lift them up and over to the right side. Go back for your next two from the left and bring them up and over. And we're going to come up the middle until just before we reach our skin tone. So we're going to stop at the end of the blue. Come back to the bottom, go on the side, slip under your, your leg extension, get the bottom two and loop up. Loop up again. Look for your next bottom two and bottom two only. And have the open part of your hook facing pointed up or away from you. Scoop, push back the rest and scoop up the bottom two only. And we'll keep going until we reach the arm. You're only taking the bottom two and you want to be careful. You don't grab anything else or pop anything else up as you go. Stop at the arm. On the right side, under the leg, do the same thing. If you've used three bands just under um, under this sort of waist part, make sure that you're getting all three. The rest of these should be two bands only. Now, if you've added the collar piece, you'll come in at the center. Find your top two and bring them up and over to the right onto the arm. And I'm going to loop up once more from the side, bottom two skin tone up diagonally so that we can cinch this in really well. We don't want that to come off while we're doing our other piece. Get your next one, bring it over to the side. 
get the bottom two skin tone, bring them up and over to the center, and loop up one more time in the center. Do not forget that piece. It will cause everything to undo if you don't get it. Our body is looped. Now we're at the hard part. Now here you might want to pull things to the side or hold them with your fingers. We'll definitely have to re-angle this as we're looking. I'm looking at the top right now and I can see out of the bands that are coming from these three pegs, the ones that should be on the top of the pile are the ones on the left. So I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to carefully push back all of the pieces that I've added from the neck and the body. I'm going to bring those two up, over, around, and onto the left side. And then we need the two from the right. We'll go back, carefully get those, and come up one more time with your centerpiece. Now, this is probably about the hardest part, so take your time. And I've almost forgotten the chin, so let's do that now before we go any further. And we'll go back a step to put that on. We're going to take... A single band, wrap it one, one, two, three, four, five times. Put it onto a doubled over single. We're going to take another single, wrap it one, two, three, four times, and another single beside that one, two, three, four. And what this does is it creates um, an extra width to the second lump. If you want them both to be small, then just use one on each. Take a single, double it over, and slide these two wrapped bands on top. Put your other end back on, and bring all of these onto a single band. Very carefully. Now as I said, we've gone just a step too far. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hook pop the bands off of the side piece and press this on and replace. I'm still holding on to the other side. You can use a hook if you need to. And I'm going to take these bands off for just a minute and bring them down. And I'm going to pop these ones off the side diagonal, put my other side of this on, put the side diagonal piece back. And before we replace the center one, we're going to bring this under, and you're going to look and you're going to see, I'm trying to get a good angle here, on the larger piece, there's kind of a space here. If you stretch it out, there's a bit of a space. You want to bring that around the center peg. And then we're going to scoop this, this piece under through that, through that hole. Okay, so that middle piece has gone through the hole, the space between the wrapped band and the next band. And now from here it's pretty easy. We're just going to loop straight up on the sides, bottom two bands only. Push back all your holding bands and your extension pieces. And loop into the center from the, from the right to the left. Loop up your other side. Actually, maybe we'll do our centerpiece next. Come up the middle, loop right over the nose. It should pop through just fine when it's square done. And centerpiece up, and then we'll loop up the right side. into the middle, grab a brown band, and we're going to take our hook, face, point the open part away from you, and put it through all of the bands on your top center peg. Grab that band, pull it up and through, put the other end on top, and you see you have twisted it so that the open part is facing up. We take one of these bands and pull it over the other band. And you can carefully take this off of your loom, and we'll start adding and adjusting. Okay, 
if you have, if you see any loose bands as you're taking this off, grab them as quick as you can and adjust them now. This is the time to do it. All right, we've got him off the loom. My, my time cut out there, but here we go. He looks kind of crazy right now. We have a couple of things to adjust. We have our eyes to pop through. We have our nose to find and pop through. Our chin is half through. Let's get the rest of it in place. If you do feel this is still loose and I'm thinking this is nice without the extension, what you can do is go through from the back, grab a couple of your bands and pull them backwards. Gonna get another band on top, slide it under, gonna go under a couple of bands and pull my securing band through and put that onto a C-clip. Wherever you want that to sit, you can cinch it under, pull it under a couple of other bands, pop your C-clip under a couple of bands, adjust your hair to the way that you like it. We're gonna draw on the pupils. I'm using a black Sharpie. You can do a couple of little dots. You can draw a little uh, eyelid. If you want, you can rotate your eyes and put a different picture on the back. Like, so have a different eye and you can switch them around. Any loose bands can be secured. And when I see one here, I'm gonna pull that under a couple of my skin tones and pop it onto our C-clip. And then we'll make our wheel. And that's really the last of the hard parts here. So uh, before I show you this, I wanna make a quick note that Lovely Lovebird Designs, and I'll put the link, has a very nice basic wheel that you can use for this as well in her bicycle tutorial. You can use black for the wheels or gray, that's up to you. And either way, we're gonna start with a black and wrap it twice, and we're gonna make a long line of doubled over blacks. And I used about, about 21. I'm gonna make just one wheel with you and show you how to do this on one side. And if you want, if you just want a plain round black wheel, cause that's most of what's gonna show, you're just gonna do a long chain of 21 and then pull it through your first band and secure it. If you want the gray wheels, what we do is we take gray bands or clear bands and we're gonna do about, you have to kind of estimate on the number of links here, but we're gonna do about two, three of these, doubled over blacks. And then, before we replace the next one, we take a gray and we pop it onto our hook and we put our black back. And we'll take our next one, double it over, and we slide it through everything that's on the hook now, including the gray. And this way, when we come around, we can grab it on the other side. I'm gonna do another two or three here. One. two, three. You don't have to have exactly 21 pieces, but you want it to be roughly the right, like a, a rough diameter once you you think it's a good length, see if it's, if it's fitting around. Pop that gray in the middle, and we'll do some more doubled over blacks. Do one more here, and this one I'm gonna place another gray upon. Pull it. Oh, something slipped off. Let's fix that. Okay, let's put our last gray. You only need about three grays all together. You can do more if you want it to be thicker. It's just going to be hard when you try and join them all back. Pull this through your blocks and your grays. And 
And now we're just going to use a couple blacks until we feel we're nearing our halfway point. So yeah, I'm thinking mm, this is probably okay. So I'll do a couple more before I start grabbing the grays. This part you kind of have to feel your way around a little bit. So now I'm ready to reach across, grab one of the grays, the one furthest away, put it on the hook and press this back. And now it's gonna stretch across my little circle. Like I said, if you don't like the way this looks or it's giving you a hard time, feel free to, to go back and just do a straight circle or you can use a lovely lovely Lovebird designs version. Whatever whatever works for you really is good. Okay, I see my circle's getting close, so I'm gonna grab my next gray, which is in the middle, the next closest one, grab it from the middle section put this on. They are going to overlap a little bit, that's alright. You can see I didn't really count how many pieces I'm using this time, but I have a, a rough idea and I think it's okay. I'm going to do another one. You just want to keep doing this until it's sort of a nice circle. And now I'm going to take the gray. I'm going to take a black from where I started and pull it through everything on my hook. Go back to the piece where I started, take the remaining two and pull them under. And again, you can always make this a little bigger, a little smaller, whichever. So you're gonna pick the side that you want it to go on and before we secure that, let's fix up the legs a little bit. We want it to be kind of in a sitting position or at least, at least I do. So to achieve that effect, we go through the top of the leg and we go through a bit of the boot. I'm just going to get this in here and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've gone through a couple of bends here in the mid leg and I've skipped a couple and then I'm going through right where the foot is. And I'm going to use a blue, put it on the hook, pull it through put one end over the other and bring this, we'll, we'll bring it to the back. So you can pull it to the side or pop it through from, from the back there. And you'll have to figure out how much you want it bent or where you want it bent exactly. I'm going to put this on a C-clip just for a minute while I do the other leg. Again, go in about mid leg, find one of those horizontal bands and then grab a little bit from the shoe or just above the shoe. This is one of the parts that's going to need a little bit of trial and error. You might have to try it, do it a couple of times or try it from different positions. Coming through from the back, I'm going to grab that band I've used to pull those into place and I bring this to the back. You can see it's bending a little bit to the side. So what I want to do now is I want to secure the legs together. For that I'm just going to hold the band that I just used. I'm going to come through around the knees from the front and I'm going to pull this blue band or a different blue band through. Now the legs stay together and they look a little bit bent but you don't have to do this part and you can you know do it again whichever way you're finding is, is satisfying to you. Now for our wheel we have to attach it in a couple of places. First you're gonna find where you want it on the side of the body so find the midpoint of your chest come through a couple of bands that are on the side but towards the front And you can take a blue, a black, or a clear, pull it through all of those. Put the other end back on, pull one side over the other, and we're going to hide this in the back. So 
So slip it under a couple of bands. This is the back you're looking at and pop it on a C-clip. Now it's sort of flopping about, so our next thing to do is secure it by the legs. For that, we're gonna go through near the legs. You can even, I'm gonna take the bands that are on my C-clip and I'm gonna use those to pull it through, I think. Or I'll take a band and pull it through all of those. You can use a clear here, a blue or a black. So we want the hook to go through the legs. In this case, I'm using pieces that are holding the legs together. Then you want it to go through the wheel and then you want a band to come back through all of that. And this gets pulled one side over the other and it goes to hide in the back. You can go on your same C-clip or on a new C-clip. Or you can weave it in. To, to weave it, you take a nearby band and you slide under. All right, last part to attach, and this is kind of optional, but I like the way it looks myself. Go through the hand or the arm, through the middle of the wheel, through the leg. I'm gonna use just a clear this time. Take the band, slide it through, back through all of those. This is gonna be a little bit difficult because we're going through a number of different bands. Go around the hand, and we're gonna go through the wheel again and grab the other side back. Now we get one side over the other and we secure this in the back as well. I'm gonna pull it through the inside of the arm. If you don't like where it's sitting, you can always take it out and try it from a different angle. And this goes on the C-clip. And you can use the same C-clip when you do the other side or put a new C-clip in, which is probably a good idea. So I'm going to leave the other wheel for you. And the last thing I'll show you, if you want these little roller beads, those are pony beads. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning. I'll make sure to put an annotation if I have them. Take a single, put it onto a gray or a black or a clear both ends on, put one end over the other, and you're gonna go through the side of the foot, or the back of the foot, grab that gray and pull it through, and bring the band right over on top of your bead and pull. And it's the same thing for the other side. So there is your Joe. This is our finished one with the side piece on the head. I have a number of other Family Guy and American Dad tutorials out. I hope you'll take some time and check those out. And I thank you for watching.